Wade Wilson announcing easy money. It took 10 minutes to do it, but oh dear, Mike Youngblood opening up with fists of fire on easy money. It didn't take long for Mike Youngblood to show some offense in this one. Easy money. Uh, a, a great wrestler, fantastic wrestler. Uh, wrestled in ECW for quite some time. Really got some name recognition there. Now here on NWA Wildside and feeling the... Re the other end, the wrong end of a chop by Mr. Youngblood and a big body slam. That's true. Mike Youngblood does bring more than a few chops to the game, as uh, we're about to find out. We see some interesting things going on in the mind of Mike Youngblood. Oh, dear, drop kick right on the chest of a diving Mike Youngblood. And uh, I think Mike is readjusting his game plan, even as it's going. Has to be at this point. A big clothesline over the top rope by Easy Money sends and, Mike Youngblood out to the floor. And it started in the middle of the ring, no less. Easy money up to the top. Well, there. And a clothesline on the chin of Mike Youngblood. And what a surprise. Mike Youngblood goes down. Easy money showing you that he's not just a great wrestler, mat wrestler in the ring. He can fly as well. And it's funny, Mike Youngblood, we're talking about uh, his interesting behavioral traits in recent days. I mean, he was locked in for this feud with this massive guy named uh, Timber, and I don't think you're familiar with there, Jeremy. And I think um, a lot of uh, damage is done to the brain of Mike Youngblood, and, and the attitude is going on in his head is, is taking his weird 180 degree turns every time we turn around. But right now it's easy money unleashing some of Youngblood's own shots onto the chest of young Mike Youngblood. Well, Mike Youngblood certainly has seen his share of tough battles and obviously adversely affected by them both mentally and physically. However, He's put that all aside tonight so far in this match with Easy Money. Spoke too soon, right over. Belly to back suplex with a release. And that could do it a two and a half count from Easy Money. Well, not quite so fast, uh, young Mr. Money. Mike Youngblood has uh, his one loss record in recent weeks has not been all that extraordinary. And he's not going to let Easy Money get in the way of another loss. Mike Youngblood going to work on the leg now with a step over toe hold. Later on in this edition of Wild Side, Adam Jacobs and Suki Boom Boom. No, 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 they're not together again. You might remember that team being the American Males. No, Adam Jacobs will be facing Suki Boom Boom, the former Bubbles the Clown, the former, oh, so many things. That's coming up with this later edition of NWA Boxing. You talk about history, you talk about some ill will, you talk about two guys that have each other and know each other still in and outside of the ring. Should make for an interesting match later on in this program. When you talk about skill, you can always bring up the hardcore heroes here at Wildside. Namely, our number one hero, that would be White Trash. Still without his famous stop sign, but today, his big opponent, and they don't get much bigger than this, Iceberg Slim. All this and more in this very edition of NWA Wildside. White Trash is going to have his hands full in the form of Iceberg Slim later on in the uh, program. What a big opponent that is. Almost a three count there from Mike Youngblood on easy money. Oh, a lot of frustration seeping into Mike Youngblood. I sure Youngblood, you couldn't imagine that easy money was going to be easy pickings. I mean, I mean, easy money, what a gift of God. That paycheck tonight won't be easy money. I'm telling you that much for Mike Youngblood. He's going to work to uh, make his money. Well, you better. You're in the land of the rough and tumble here at Wildside, and both Youngblood and now Easy Money certainly believe that. Easy Money on the outside of the ring now. Mike Youngblood not afraid to go outside and try something himself. No. Decided to halt his uh, tope mid-flight mid there, and all for naught, getting the throat of Mike Youngblood across the top rope. Easy Money taking a breather. Smart idea. He has Mike Youngblood where he wants him and has the upper hand in this... What does he have in, oh, beautiful, beautiful clothesline to Mike Youngblood, foot on the rope. Referee Speedy Nelson doesn't miss a thing. Certainly doesn't, looks like the momentum of Easy Money actually carried Mike Youngblood into the bottom ropes, which is probably not what Easy Money had intended. Good mad wrestling here from Easy Money. Certainly is, you know, there's no episode of NWA Wildside without the presence of one Jeff G. Bailey, a famous attorney and uh, oh, one of the most miserable human beings I think I've ever met in my life. Later, yeah. on, in, later, later on in this edition, Jeff Bailey will be here along with uh, Eddie Golden, one of the members of the NWA elite, and another member, uh, Terry Knight, who in recent weeks has not been getting along with Jeff Bailey, and, and we're kind of curious to see if anything more will develop in that now uh, storied history between Jeff Bailey and Terry Knight. Mike Youngblood follows up with a drop kick, working on that leg, that left leg of easy money. 
considering uh, Easy Money's attack is so based on uh, flight, I think knocking out the legs of Easy Money is a smart idea, and Youngblood is, uh, is hitting the mark, so to speak. Step over toe hold, good submission combination pin. They can actually score a pinfall on this one. It hasn't yet, but it could. There we go. What a great submission move by Mike Youngblood. This could, I mean, how do you get out of this? He basically has them tied up in every direction. And we've heard of the famous small package. This is actually one of the smaller packages I think I've ever run across. Kind of a, uh, almost a quarter Nelson. Tying up the legs in the process. Perhaps uh, Easy Money could reverse the momentum and perhaps maybe guide Mug Youngblood onto his own shoulders, but uh, not yet. What's going to happen later on? White trash and iceberg slim. This will not be the for the faint of heart by any means, gang. It certainly isn't. Now, hopefully, the first two rows of people will uh, be more cautious about the activities of white trash. This is quite often uh, flying splinters and uh, white trash's plunder often come to the picture. There will be some plunder. There will be some uh, bloodshed, possibly even. These two really hold nothing back here, and certainly tonight. Maybe no exception to that. Easy money up on the top rope. Great agility, cross body block. It's turned over by Mike Youngblood and it. Oh, young blood, bud. Two and 15, 16. Referee Speedy Nelson, so close. They count to three for Mike Youngblood. Did Speedy Nelson actually call that two and 15, 16? He actually did. And I'm really surprised too. Both member, mem members of his match were got involved. Their bottom, their leg getting involved in the bottom rope. No, no, of course, no. stopping the pin right there in its tracks. Even if it is, it plays at two and 15, 16. A big uh, hello to our, all of our NWA Wildside fans in Minneapolis. You're a you're old Minneapolis uh, fan, aren't you? My old stomping grounds. All the great wrestlers up there certainly watching this program. And they certainly do. Well, they miss you up there, Jeremy. Oh, they miss well, me like uh, mm, yeah, yeah. That's right. Uh, like the proverbial you know what in church up there watching us on channel 45 the uh, kstc that's right uh west of the city they had the k in it wasn't it yes and a big hello to mick karsh and all the gang up there certainly a great television station and a lot of great wrestling up in that area however we now are coming to you from atlanta the uh, georgia area with cornelia and of course this the nwa Wildside program featuring some top talent from all over not only north america but around the world that's true. If you get the opportunity, if you ever get into the North Georgia area, in the Atlanta area, we'd love to see you come up for some of these exciting NWA Wildside TV tapings. We take the first and third Saturdays of every month, and in between, there's literally Wildside events scheduled for all over North Georgia, and if you're ever in the Atlanta area, come by. We'd love to see you. Absolutely. So many great wrestlers come through here. This is, of course, Georgia, always a hotbed for professional wrestling. The fans here are second to none. Look at that. Easy money. Hamstring elbow. Boy, shades of Yoshihiro Tajiri and a kip up, and easy money, he's easying up. I've got to get a new line. That's, that's agility from easy money, and a surprise move like that out of nowhere can really throw a guy off. What do we have here? Could this be a suplex? Ooh, unbelievable. I've never seen that before. He actually released Mike Youngblood midair. And a beautiful moonsault by Easy Money for the three count. Picture perfect at that too. Easy Money victorious. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, Easy Money. Oh dear, I guess a real veteran like Mike Youngblood, that speaks volumes too. Mike Youngblood easily has four or five years in experience on Easy Money. And Mike Youngblood is not taking his loss very well. It's almost a cliche, but it looks like Easy Money may have won the battle, but may have lost the war in this one. Mike Youngblood taking it to Easy Money. Hang on now, there's a reversal. I've never really considered Mike Youngblood to be a bit of a sore loser, but he's uh, certainly the poster child for sore losing this week on NWA Wildside. Maybe uh, he needs to take his attitude a bit in check, and maybe think he might turn around a little for Mike Youngblood. But tonight, it's Easy Money's night with a victory over Mike Youngblood. Certainly in this one, Easy Money did get the win. Mike Youngblood. Mike oh. Youngblood uh, claims that he's the winner, but I recall uh, the referee raising the hands of Easy Money, victorious this week on NWA Wildside.